like teachers help us a lot. Like when I was doing like dance performance every year and <laughs> every like event, and then teachers were really nice to me, and so that they asked me to like, do you want to perform? And do you want to do this and this? And, like they gave me a lot of opportunity to perform. We need a supervisor for like doing rehearsal. Like Miss Nami, for example, we're staying in a rehearsal even though she's really busy. She stay uh, stay with us and then watching the rehearsal and they give us like advice. So they just yeah helping me a lot. So, yeah. The environment where teacher treat all the students equally in the beginning, but like we all have like the same amount. Like teacher maybe pay attention to these students like five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. But if you are really, really curious about one thing and you really want to learn, the teacher will be 100% support you. So he might or she might uh, give you some tips after school or even during uh, recess and sometimes in weekend, teacher will still uh, answer your message. For example, I have to um, conduct a psychology experiment and write a report about it. And my teacher was uh, Mr. Joner. So I had some questions about doing the summary of the previous like actual research I have done in the past. So I. I'm, I'm struggling how to summarize it better so it doesn't take much work count. I think it was on Saturday night, he still responds to my message to tell me how to uh, extract the, only the important idea and he expressed, uh, elaborate what's the uh, important idea. And I did take her, uh, take his suggestion and I managed to summarize the uh, study within the work count? Uh, definitely. Uh, first is the communication uh, because this school uh, is from kindergarten to uh, end of the high senior. It's a lot of students. In a good way, you can interact with other, uh, a lot of people. That develops uh, like communication skills. Uh, well, it's obviously English skills because it was in international schools so and also I learned communication skills um, I need to interact with like people who are in different countries so it's not only Japanese people they have different religions they have different thoughts so like but you know in Alba we need to communicate with the group teams so I need to listen to them and they have different perspectives and they have different thoughts. So interpret and communication and then started to, you know, solve problems and then that's the skills that I learned at Alba. Communication, because in Alba I think 90% of the work are teamwork and in China 100% of the work are uh, independent. So we in Alba have a chance to talk with teachers, uh, classmates. And in Alba we have different groups in different class and sometimes in different semester our group will be changed. So we work with different people and we still can communicate with them. And this is pretty important, I think. Yeah. That school's like I, I can be myself. Like that's my honest. Uh, not in like any educational way, but like for my personal. Uh, I noticed like after two years I came here, uh, it's so easy to uh, be myself. Uh, in, it's so easy to interact with others. Uh, yeah. Speech skill gets improved by Alba. So in. Alba, we have a lot of chance to give like report and presentation of our project, and this is very helpful in my opinion. Because before I come to Alba, I was 
study in China. So in China, we basically just learn, but we don't like share our thoughts. But in Alba, we had a chance to share our own opinion and uh, communicate with uh, our classmates and teachers. And it's pretty nice. I did DP diploma courses in uh, Alba, and I started to know that the learning is a very really fun thing. When I was in a Japanese school, I <laughs> studied because like every day tests and then every day like sitting and the teacher just teaching, and then there's no like a lot of communi communications with teachers. They just came to class and then they just leave <laughs> and then and then take a test. But in Alba, we're giving me an opportunity to learn and also in a funny, like fun way. Like, for example, creating presentations and asking a lot of questions to teachers and then learning together, like including teachers as well. So it was a really good environment for me to learn. So that's the biggest change. So that's why. When I was getting to university, I was I wanted to go to like dance university, like the university that is like stronger in dance. But actually, I wanted to study more because of like, study was fun. So I changed it to go to medical school. In the spring carnival, um, Miss Nami and I. Miss Nami is a dance teacher, and Miss Nami and I performed together on stage. So it was good memories. <laughs> like we stay after school, and we just set up the mirrors, and then we practice a lot of times, and then talking, talking, rehearsal thing. Yeah, that that's the good memories that I had. In my three years in Alba, I also learned a lot of Japanese because the teacher. Uh, Miss Prithi was very supportive, and she said, uh, "You can do it." And she always has confidence in me to learn Japanese well. My plans: I want to go to medical school too, but we need English skills to get into that university. So. So like I gain English skills, as I said, and also I, you know, learn to think more critically. <laughs> so like, and also during IBT, okay, I started to know that like one evidence isn't enough. So we need to have evidence to support our claims or like thoughts. So. I learned that like these kind of thoughts will helps me to not hurt other people. So like, for example, racisms, like American African people, they have some racial discriminations. But like, if all the people think critically, then those issue will be gone. What I learned at Alba is to think critically and not judging people from like. One perspectives, they have like multi perspective and two sided. So that helps me to get into like medical university as well. When I was doing interview like that, my future plan is to be a project analyst. And what what I do is basically analyze uh, projects for big companies, like analyze the risk factor. And economics factor if this project is feasible and provide a more uh, comprehensive plan for the company. To do this job, I have to meet many people's high ups in different companies to see if this can be carried on. I think the speech skill I developed in、uh, Alba is pretty useful now because I need to meet people and. Maybe persuade them to invest, make the big company cooperate with each other to make the project workable. Yeah, so the speech skill is very essential here.
So getting to international school is really kind of high boundaries. Everyone thinks that way. But actually when you get into that place, it's really awesome and it's interesting. And then also I was afraid of speaking English to other people who are speaking really naturally and fluently. But don't be scared speaking English and don't be scared to get into like international schools. That's what I want to say. Yeah.